It is the largest tax increase in Kansas history, a controversial fix for the state's $400 million plus budget hole. But what does that mean for your bottom line? 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel helps some Kansans do the math, and he joins us live now from Fairway. Well, part of that bill is an increase in sales tax. Basically, any time you step outside the shop, going to any places like this, you are going to pay more. Specifically, 0.35% more on top of any city or county tax you already pay. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but for the state, it's quite a bit. $164 million in 2016, and even more after that. We did an experiment to see how much shoppers will pay when this tax hike is in place. How much more would you pay if the governor signs a bill? It will go from 6.15% to 6.5% starting July 1st. But businesses would have until August 1st to comply. Many who oppose the bill argue the legislation places a burden on the backs of the lower and middle class. Here's what a shopper had to say. I mean, anything that takes away from my family, yeah, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. So, I mean, I, I mean, it might be pennies, it might add up to dollars or hundreds, but, I mean, absolutely, I think it's going to hurt in the end. Now, that $164 million that the state's expected to rake in isn't exact math. About $13 million of that could be lost if businesses don't start implementing the tax right away. And even more can be gone if Kansas decide that that 0.35% increase is too much and they start looking across the border or online for their shopping needs. Reporting live in Fairway, Kansas, Brian Abel, 41 Action News.